Girl Production. back to Mac Team Ford Edge. I just wanted to basically go over a little bit about your TSS and OSS sensors, which are your turbine uh, shaft speed sensor and your output speed sensor. Uh, basically, if you own a 2007, 2008, probably a 9 maybe, and a 10s, I'm not seeing it too much in, but a 7 and an 8, definitely you're going to have problems with this. Uh, the reason you're having problems with your TSS and OSS sensors is basically it's an electronic device that is starting to fail. Uh, longevity, it depends on the miles on the car when it fails, but also it's prone to dirty transmission fluid also, not maintaining the fluid properly, which could cause or be part of the problem of this failure. Now, as you can see in some of these photos that are uh, paging through here, uh, that I have over here, that, you know, getting to it is not that hard. It is located underneath your air box. You take the air box out, and then you can crawl underneath, and you can also work from the top. There's a front panel that you'll have to undo to get to them. It's not that hard of a job, and if I had one today that went bad, I would of course address it myself because it's not a difficult job and it doesn't, you can't use hand tool for power tools essentially. It is really a hand tool job, but it is a job where you need to have a meticulous way to do things. Now, replacing your TSS and OSS sensors in your Ford Edge is really not an amateur or even an amateur plus. You're going to have to have some experience of what you're doing. After all, you are taking apart your transmission. Uh, for me, it's not something I like to do, uh, but I would do it if I had that go out, knowing what I know now. Now, you'll see in some of the photographs that are, of course, being shown over here, uh, of different parts of your TSS and OSS sensors. The sensors are there, uh, what they look like, and then various states of tearing down the actual uh, transmission cover and gaining access and then rebuilding them. But uh, in these photographs you'll see that it doesn't appear to be a very difficult job as you can see. Now, what to expect? Now, if you have a Ford Edge that's a 2000, 2008 roughly, and you are below 100,000 or at 100,000 miles on your Ford Edge, you will most likely have TSS OSS failures. Now, what's going to happen? As you can see in some of these photographs that I have put up, the first thing you're going to start looking at is your dash. What's going to happen to your vehicle when they fail is the pre-notification of the systems of things that are, that are going to happen, okay? You are given advance warning when this is going to occur. The total failure part is, I'll address in a minute, but when you go to stop signs and go to stop and you've got a hard or bumpy shift when you go there, or while you're driving it has a hard time shifting up into a gear. This is the early stages of failure, folks. If you go on hills, up and down, you're gonna have hard shifts. It's gonna hunt for gears, okay, while it's doing this. These are all your symptoms that something's going to happen, okay? Now, if you ignore it, you might go 100 miles or you might go 5,000 miles before the failure. It's not a certain thing but it is certain that they will once you start exhibiting these symptoms. Now, what happens when you are, say, driving down the road and it does fail? First thing you're gonna get is you're gonna feel a bump. Why are you feeling a bump? The bump is because you just lost your overdrive and now your transmission shifted and now you're running like 3,000 to 4,000 RPM depending on your speed. At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand one thing. 
if you are moving. You are not damaging your transmission. Keep moving till you get to a very good, safe place to pull over. Because once you pull over, it is all over, okay? Your edge will not move very well at all. It will not have the power and ability to pull out into freeways or even any type of traffic. It'll take you 10 minutes to cross an intersection with it floored. So, if you are still moving, if you're in the middle of nowhere, for example, when I was driving my 2008, I had about 168,000 miles on it, okay? When my TSS OSS sensors went. Now, I knew the symptoms were occurring, and I didn't know quite at the time what the whole situation was. But I was with my then eight-year-old daughter, and we were driving down back roads with no town. This happened to me. The speed went up. The dash read where the odometer mileage was reading. The mileage read a bunch of dashes across it. The wrench sign showed up on the dash. The low tire pressure light illuminated. The airbag light turned on and the odometer stopped working. Okay? All this is telling you you better not stop until you are sure you where you want to stop because you will not start back up. Once you do stop, if you put it in gear, like reverse, it will make a loud bang and a thunk when it goes into gear. After that, if you put it in forward, it'll make a loud thump and a bang. It will not go anywhere, folks. You'll floor it and it'll move a foot a minute. It will move and eventually it'll gain momentum. So if you do have to drive in an emergency, you can get the edge to move, but it won't move very good, okay? Eventually you'll get it up to highway speed and you'll be able to drive to other safe locations but I don't want you to panic if this happens to your edge. So by all means, if this happens, keep driving, find a safe place to pull over, with lots of light if it's nighttime, whatever. Get away from the traffic and try not to slow down too much. Get to the where you can safely pull over. And then of course, at that point, you're going to have to be getting a tow truck to tow it to get it fixed or tow it home and fix it yourself. But keep in mind, the parts for it are not that terribly expensive, okay? And if you got a friend that's knowledgeable in mechanics, you can fix it at home. But if you do choose for the dealer to repair it, just keep in mind, it's going to be anywhere from six to $900 to repair. I think mine was like 700 but I've heard as high as 900 So, you know, just keep that in mind. But I hope this information on the failure of the TSS and OSS sensors does help you to uh, understand what is going on with your car so that you can maybe get it fixed before the complete failure and your wife and kids are stranded on the side of the road or even you are. Whatever the case may be, I'm hoping this information helps you in identifying what is happening to your vehicle. This is Mac T Ford Edge. And by all means, remember, every day is a great day when both heat feet hit the ground, and we, of course, move around today, and today is a great day. I do want to remind you that, of course, you can see me at Facebook, Google+, and, of course, here on YouTube under the name Mac T Ford Edge for all the different locations. And by all means, join our Facebook page get the information directly. I'm on there quite often and my admin and other very knowledgeable members are there to help and answer questions with our experiences with the Ford Edge. So by all means, get with us and I look forward to hearing from you on Facebook and seeing you watching my videos. But that is it. Have a great day and of course, Mercy Grill, take it away. Thank you, Max T. Thank you for watching and remember to like my videos and subscribe to Mac T. This is a Mercy Girl production.